Have you ever wondered how these big insurance companies operate? Or how are they able to pay such huge settlements? Have you ever got a call for an insurance policy? Or do you have a friend who works in one of these big companies? If not, let's see how these companies make these huge profits and settle large claims. But before we get into the dark side of the insurance industry, let us understand what insurance actually is and how they work in a financial medium. Insurance is a monetary product hooked by insurance companies to protect you and your property against loss, injury or theft. Some classes of insurance you have to take out by regulation, such as motor insurance if you own a vehicle, some you may need as a state of a contract, such as facilities insurance as a requirement of your mortgage, and others are practical to take out such as life insurance or preserving for a pension. While it is a sound idea to ensure you are not spending on insurance you don't need, you should still think about what would happen if a tragedy struck and you didn't have coverage to safeguard yourself. You can purchase insurance policies for many facets of your life, such as your health, home, car, business or retirement. An insurance policy is an agreement with an insurer to defend you against specific risks under agreed terms. When you purchase a policy, you make periodic payments known as premiums to the insurer. If you claim, your insurer will settle for the loss shielded under the policy. The insurer and the insured sign a legal agreement for the insurance called the insurance policy. The insurance policy details the prerequisites and events under which the insurance company will pay the insurance amount to either the insured individual or the nominees. Insurance is a way of safeguarding yourself and your family from monetary loss. Generally, the premium for large insurance coverage is much less than the cash paid. The insurance company takes the risk of furnishing high coverage for a slim premium because very few insured people truly claim the insurance. This is why you get a lot of insurance at a lower price. Any person or business can seek insurance from an insurance company, but the decision to furnish insurance is under the insurance company's decision. The insurance company will assess the claim application to make a judgment. Generally, insurance companies deny providing insurance to high-risk applicants. If you don't make a claim, you won't get your coffers back. Instead, it is pulled with the premiums of different policyholders who have taken out insurance with the same insurance firm. The funds come from collecting policyholders' premiums if you make a claim. Insurers employ risk data to estimate the likelihood of the event you are insuring against ensuing. This info is used to work out the price of your premium. The more likely the circumstance you are insuring against is to happen, the higher the hazard to the insurer and as an outcome, the higher the price of your premium. Insurance not only provides you safety, but it also helps you benefit from tax savings. Premium on a life insurance policy can be claimed as a deduction in case of an individual. A deduction is available in respect of policy taken in the name of the taxpayer of their spouse or their children. But like many other industries, insurance companies also try to scam their customers in multiple ways. And this is the manipulated dark truth behind the insurance industry. Insurance scams occur when a claimant tries to obtain some advantage or benefit they are not qualified for or when an insurer deliberately denies the old benefit. As per the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation, the most typical schemes include premium diversion, fee steering, asset degression and employee settlement fraud. Perpetrators in the schemes can be insurance firms, workers or claimants. Also, insurance claims are claims filed with deceitful intentions towards an insurance provider. Insurance swindle has existed since the advent of insurance as a retail business. Skimming claims account for a substantial share of all claims accepted by insurers, costing billions of dollars yearly. Types of insurance scams are myriad and occur in all extents of insurance. Insurance corruptions also range in rigor, from narrowly overstating claims to intentionally causing accidents or impairment. Deceitful activities impact the lives of innocent individuals, both directly through accidental or deliberate injury or damage and indirectly by corruption leading to more elevated insurance premiums. Insurance scam poses a notable problem and administrations and other associations try to discourage such activity. The principal reason for all insurance crimes is monetary gain. Insurance contracts deliver both the insured and the insurer with prospects for exploitation. As per the Coalition Against Insurance Fraud, the reasons change but are usually centered on desiring gaps in the protections against fraud. Those who perpetrate insurance scams often consider it a low-risk, lucrative business. For instance, drug traders who have penetrated insurance fraud think it's more secure and profitable than laboring on street corners. Analogized to other offenses, court verdicts for insurance scams can be tolerant, lowering the risk of vast punishment. 
though insurers fight forgery, some pay doubtful claims anyway, as recompensing such claims are frequently cheaper than legal action. Another rationale for fraud is overinsurance, in which someone insures the property for more than its actual worth. This situation can be challenging to avoid, particularly since an insurance provider might periodically encourage it to obtain more significant profits. This lets scammers profit by dethroning the property because they acquire an insurance claim greater than the property's value. The most typical formats of insurance fraud are reframing non-insured damage to make it an occasion covered by insurance and increasing the value of the loss. It is difficult to set an accurate value on the funds stolen through insurance fraud. Insurance scam is unhurriedly undetectable, unlike visible offenses such as theft or murder. As such, the number of insurance fraud lawsuits detected is considerably lower than the number of acts executed. The best thing to do is evaluate insurance losses due to insurance scams. The Coalition Against Insurance Fraud gauges that in 2006, nearly 80 billion US dollars was lost in the United States due to insurance scams. According to estimations by the Insurance Information Institute, insurance hoax accounts for almost 10% of the property or health insurance industry's incurred losses and flop adjustment costs. The National Healthcare Anti-Fraud Association calculates that 3% of the healthcare industry's expenses in the United States are due to deceitful activities, amounting to an outlay of about 51 billion US dollars. Other assessments attribute as much as 10% of the healthcare spending in the United States to scams, about 115 billion US dollars annually. According to the FBI, non-health insurance swindling costs an evaluated 40 billion dollars yearly, raising the average US family's premiums between 400 and 700 US dollars yearly. Another breakdown of deception committed in the United States insurance establishments put the true price at 33% to 38% of the entire cash flow via the system. Technology plays a more significant role in addressing scams, as insurers depend negligibly on conventional methods such as company rules and red flags and more on predictive modeling, link research and artificial intelligence. As per a 2021 white report by the Coalition Against Insurance Fraud, Almost all respondents pointed out they were utilizing anti-fraud technology to wither potentially defrauding claims. Deception technology has the most effect on possessions claims and personal auto but has been advancing, especially in catching property shams compared to before years. Two classes of fraud exist, hard fraud and soft fraud. Hard fraud transpires when a policyholder intentionally destroys possessions to claim on the insurance policy. Soft fraud, which is more typical, issues when a policyholder magnifies an otherwise honest claim or willfully skips or fibs about the details of an application to accept a lower premium. Soft fraud is usually considered the crime of opportunity. Unlawful insurance firms and unethical insurance agencies can trick clients by collecting premiums for phony policies with no will or capacity to settle claims. These institutions may propose policies at prices extremely lower than the standard market price to lure customers trying to save money. Usually, a bogus insurance firm will furnish clients with actual documents. In other models, these policies may be represented by honest insurance brokers who have been deceived by scamming corporations. Fair businesses not authorized by the state to deal with insurance might lead clients to think they are marketing insurance while bypassing state insurance laws. Workers of legitimate insurance firms can also mislead customers for personal gain. For illustration, an unethical seller could collect premiums from a buyer without producing the insurance policy for the firm. The insurance company could withdraw or deny renewal of the policy. Indications of fraud with reputed companies include failing to acquire an insurance label card or a replica of the written policy on time. The federal statute does not distinctly handle insurance fraud. Rather, it is circled by the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act of 1994, providing the national government jurisdiction over insurance scams concerning interstate trade. Insurance forgery for at least some strings of insurance is an offense in every state of the USA. The states make insurer fabrication a typical insurance corruption. To address detailed illegal activity issues, the states and the country have insurance scam bureaus scrutinizing claims of unlawful insurance activities. The fraud bureaus employ anti-fraud and criminal detectives, who operate closely with federal, state and local law enforcement officers to charge insurance fraud. Has an insurance agent scammed you before, or do you think insurance fraud is a concerning factor for you? Comment below your views regarding the manipulated insurance claims. Until then, adios.